Welcome to Lucky Creations, where I feature my fabulous crafty life. Hi, crafty friends. It's Lucky Creations, and I am sharing a video with you on how I did some junk journaling in my happy planner. So I want to first of all show you some products that I purchased. This mat that you see in my background, I just got this from Five Below. It actually is a desk mat. It has these little pockets on the side where you can put little things, a uh, place for your mouth. So it's actually in a light lavender purple if you can see the color. Well then I also got these highlighter and calligraphy pens because I have been really practicing my calligraphy. I made a goal for 2024 that that's one of the things that I want to do in crafting and here you can see I've been practicing I have been practicing my calligraphy and hand lettering um yeah it's getting better I, I have kind of my own style happening but you know I'm improving uh so yeah I've been using that this particular kit was the one that I got from Ross for five dollars I just used the Dollar Tree placemat to make a cover from on that um and punch those and put some disc in there so yeah I, I've been using those aids to help me with my calligraphy journey so yeah I'm getting good y'all so these pens will help me with the calligraphy I like them because they have those fine calligraphy uh tips so got that from five below so from Amazon, I ordered myself some more film, the two by three photo paper to print out pictures in my HP sprocket because I was down to my last pack. So I needed some of that. I also got from Amazon some washi tape. So this first one is kind of a decorative scallop metallic glittery border uh, washi tape. There's not a whole lot on these rolls, but there's six rolls and they... Um, you can see they have this really pretty decorative border, so they come in six different colors, so um, not a lot that's in there, but they're pretty. I also ordered this washi tape, which has this bee theme, um, and I can say that it's pretty, but the colors are definitely a lot more dull and muted than they looked. I, this was one of the ones I actually bought it for because it has that really pretty vintagey look, but... I like them. I just think they could be a little bit more vibrant in the color. Then I got this set of washi tape, which I'm going to use in this video, um, which has African print motif. So I really, really got this to enhance my journal for Black History Month. Um, again, the colors aren't as vibrant as they look online, but they're pretty. Um, that's one thing about the Amazon washi tapes that I've noticed that the colors are definitely a little bit more duller or muted than they appear online. So just be mindful of that. Okay, so I did add in my this particular week that we are just finishing, I added these little, I guess I think you call these what, D Dutch doors? Um, just to add some more writing. So what I'm going to do, I've just grabbed two blank sheets of grid uh, paper. That's punched in the classic size. And I'm going to use that. So from this book that I got from Amazon in my Black History Hall, this dollar book, I saw this picture of George Washington Carver that I thought was very pretty. It's like a, a drawing and it has him with the plan. And of course, George Washington Carver is a famous African-American who um, was into agriculture and botanist. And, you know, he's the, the peanut butter man, right? He's the one who invented um, the peanut butter and a lot of uses for peanuts. So... I ripped that out of that book. Yes, I ripped the book out. I know I don't like to do that, but I did rip that out. And I'm going to just glue that page onto my plain page of dot grid because uh, I want to use that. I like that photo. Then I got this vintagey washi tape. This is another Amazon purchase. And I'm going to just rip this off. Uh, struggling a little bit to rip it off. But this has a floral theme. But I'm, I'm trying to um, not get those pictures. I just want a little piece of that vintage looking writing to put um, on my page. Because again, this is a junk journal page. So I put that washi tape down and I am trimming it trimming up the sides and I'll go back later and I'll punch the holes um the mushroom disc out on the side well here's the some of the washi tape that I got from Michaels this was that heritage collection so some of the colors I think will go well um within this junk journal page so I'm going to grab that as well as I'm going to go through this washi tape that I just got from Amazon 
um, with the African prints. And I'm going to pick out a couple of those. There's a couple that have um, these floral themes on it. So since, since, of course, George Washington Carver was into... Uh, botany and plants. I wanted to use some of the papers that were had the green color as well as plants. So I picked out a few of the washi tapes that I want to use. And so what I'm going to do is across that left hand side, I'm just going to go in with the washi tape and just start adding in lines of washi across that section that you see there in the white. So I was kind of, I was really struggling with this particular uh, roll of washi tape for some reason. I could not get that to open up. So I ended up cutting it and I cut it a couple layers deep. So I kind of kind of wasted some of the washi tape. I don't know why I struggled so much with this particular roll of washi, but I did. Um, this was one of the ones that came from Michael's. So I kind of struggled with that one, but I finally did get it opened up and was able to put it on. So I'm just going to continue to grab those washi tapes um, from the Amazon set as well as the set that came from Michaels and alternate those across that section on the left hand side of my page. Um, and this is just a way that you can decorate your page. Washi tape is definitely great within journaling, junk journaling. It's just one of those things that just adds so much uh, life and decoration to your page. So again, I'm just going across the side of that page in those alternating colors. All of them have either a Afrocentric look or a plant type of look. This particular one that I'm putting down now, it has these little houses and the colors go well with the colors that are in the plants uh, that George Washington Carver are handling in my photograph there. So yeah, I like the way that looked. So I've added that washi tape on the left hand side. I haven't done anything to the page on the right because I will get to that one. Next I decided I want to do some stenciling. So I have this stencil that I got from I believe Hobby Lobby or Walmart a while ago. Anyway, I've used this in my MLK week and I thought this was a nice addition. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some different color inks. I have a black ink. I have... Uh, a green and a red color. I'm just testing this out on just a, a blank, blank sheet of paper just to make sure it's going to give me what I need it to give me and it does. So now I'm just using with the black ink and a dauber. I'm going in and just daubing that black ink on my stencil to create that design and I really love the way that turned out. I love this stencil so much. So then I decided I wanted to stencil some also at the bottom of my page as well. So I'm going in with this Arranger ink in this brick uh, red ink, which this is an older ink pad that I've had for a while. So the color was not quite as vibrant as I wanted. But at the same time, I like the way that turned out. I like that kind of ombre effect that I did by going from dark to light. So I was really, really happy with that. Um, so I also <clears throat> decided I want to add some lines, some journaling lines to this page to just make it, even though it's a junk journal, but make it a little bit functional. I can write something up there at the top. So you saw me with the stencil adding those lines to the top of that page. I need to glue that corner down just a tinge just to make it secure. So I like that page. So now let's decide to start working on the second page and on the second page I decided that I got this out of the mail in a CVS Caremark advertisement with this lady with the afro and I really like that so I'm going to use her on this page because it's a junk journal right but then I decided I want to stencil also on my second page and this time I want to use the entire stencil so I'm just going through my ink and grabbing some more reds and some more blacks and I'm going to just start inking this page in all those various colors. I'll also bring in some purple here just because there's a little tiny little bit of purple in some of the washi tape. I'm just incorporating all of those colors into my stencil so you see me and I decided that you know it'll be easier for me to use my make art magnetic board just to hold that stencil in place um, so I grabbed that and that's what I'm doing but you can see already from the part that stencil that's turning out really nicely so I have to just line up my stencil here 
And once I get that lined up good, I'm going to go ahead and place down my magnets and get back to stamping. So I'm just alternating colors. I'm making sure I grab a new dauber or dauber tip with every color that I grab. And I'm just going around with the blacks, with the reds, with the purples, with the greens, just to fill in those stencils and give my page a stencil look. And I do realize my camera is kind of moving and it's kind of getting wonky so I do apologize for um the way that my camera is <laughs> the angle that you're getting I will fix that here in just a moment uh but yeah I'm just I was so busy stenciling I didn't realize that hey your whole table is moving there so <laughs> sorry about the weird angle but it will clear up here shortly so I'm just continuing to grab um, different color. I, I, I like the red, but it was looking a little pinkish for me. So I did go in and grab another red. And then I just decided the spots where I want that little black in the middle, I just used the black pen to to color in those with the pen just to make sure I got the centers black. So I'm grabbing a darker red just because the other red was looking a little pinkish. So you can kind of see the contrast there. That's why I realized, oh, camera, sorry, let me fix my camera. So I'm continuing to just daub on inks in all those different colors. And here's where I grab the purple because I realized there's just a little bit of purple on my page. So I want to grab some of that purple and incorporate that as well. And I, I'm very happy with the way that this turned out. So once I got all the colors on, I removed the magnets and I removed my stencil and look, there we go. So I like that. I think the two pages, the colors go well together. So that's going to be the base of my page. So now I'm just grabbing some scrap paper. That's actually something I printed out for Christmas of that green because I thought I wanted to just kind of have a little border of that green behind the photo. So I'm trimming my photo down a little bit. And again, this photo was a CVS uh, ad. So I'm ripping the corners of that little piece of paper and in, in, uh, using my glue stick to glue it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue down that piece of that CVS ad of this beautiful lady with the air afro <laughs> and i'm gonna glue that down to my page so then i'm gonna go ahead and get some of the washi tape in the same uh colors the same tapes that i use on my first page and i'm gonna just add some washi tape onto this page just to make it a little bit more cohesive so that the two pages can work together now again this is a junk journal page so junk journal it doesn't have to have a lot of function to it but I'm going to find a way to make my page functional I really really love that washi tape that I just laid down that was in that Amazon kit and even though it has a little bit of that orangey color in it I like the words and the, the the picture that's on it so that one is the one that I haven't used before now at the top I'm adding some more of that little yellowish orangish floral washi tape as well as um, this one that I used on the other side I'm just going to grab a little piece and rip it off and just put it right on the side i am grabbing my tweezers to help me with that because uh, i was struggling with these nails um i wanted to bring some of this uh vintagey looking washi tape but i didn't want the flowers on there so i just cut the flowers off and then i'm just going to cut off a little bit of piece with the text and just trimming that off i will go back later and i'll punch um punch out the mushroom inserts where my planner will go so I like this, but then I decided that um, I got this ribbon and I thought that would be kind of pretty to bring it. Let's bring in some of this white ribbon. So I'm just going to add a piece of this white ribbon right across the page on top of the photo of the lady. Just again, it's junk journal. So I, you want to add in different elements. So here I'm bringing in some of my glue in my little precision glue bottle. And I'm gluing that directly on the ribbon just to make sure that it does adhere properly. And I'm going to put that right across the top of my page. And I'm just smoothing that down. And I like the way that that turned out. Uh, it's fraying a little bit, but I am going to trim, go back and trim that side just because it'll be hard to punch that mushroom out. Um, so, yep, I'm just trimming it up a little bit. I like that. The last thing that I'm going to do is I grab my dauber and I'm just adding in a little bit of the dauber in the black just to make a little bit of distress in some of those sections just to give it a little bit of distress look. And so next, I want to print out a sticker 
And so I grabbed my little mini thermal printer and I'm going to grab some clear sticker paper, some clear translucent sticker paper. And so here I'm using this app that is called um, hand lettering. So I went into my hand lettering app and I added in a little saying that I want and I'm going to make it say first it's going to say black history but then I'm going to go ahead and change that to say something about black history being 365 days a year so there I'm using that hand lettering app to just write what I want my quote to say this app is really handy because it will allow you to do hand lettering and then you can you can then send that to your printer or your printer app and you can print it out. So I'm writing celebrating black history 365 days a year on that app. I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to make this have decoration and I'm going to make it two toned. And this is the suggestion that it sends out. If I didn't like that, I could hit next, but I love the one that it gave me first. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. And you see, it tells me it saved it to my, my app. So now I'm going to go into my tiny printer app that came on my computer. I'm going to go find my photographs and I'm going to add the photo onto my tiny print app. And so this is the app that's going to allow me to print it on my thermal printer on that sticker paper. So I'm going to go ahead and print that. And now I have this little sticker. Now this clear paper, because it's thicker, you can't rip it out like you can rip the normal paper. So I'm just going to cut that out and then I'm going to just trim it down. Now, right now it looks like that sticker is white, but when I remove the backing, you're going to see that that's going to be clear. Now one hack that I do to remove the backing, I just slightly take my X-Acto knife and just slit a little slit. And that makes it easier to remove the backing of those sticker papers. And I am just going to adhere that sticker right Right to the top of the section where the lady is and I really love the effect that that gives because it's translucent so you can still see the background of the lady but I have my quote on there as well so now I'm just writing George Washington Carver's all the, his full name out in a black pen and that is pretty much my page I am going to go ahead and cut out the mushroom discs and I'll insert this into my planner so just trying to figure out which spot I want to put that. And I decided to kind of put it in right for right now in my week um, in between Valentine's Day. I may move that, but there you have it. Now I have created some junk journal pages and in celebration of Black History Month. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment, like, and give me a subscribe. And stay tuned for more content from Locky Creations. As always, be wonderfully blessed and happy Black History Month.